Well, what's poppin', ladies and gents? It's your boy Rock, and welcome back. Playing some more Virtue's Last Reward. Sorry again for another uh, hiccup and uploads. Really still trying to get everything all figured out, but don't worry, folks. This won't be long. And uh, to all you newcomers, welcome. I appreciate you giving my small little channel a chance, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy the content. But let's keep going. Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? Dunno. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Looks like Alice, Clover, Kay. And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji. What's going on here? Apologies. Saw something. Uh, caught me off guard. Anyway. We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. Oh, sure. Apologies if you guys hear something in the background. It's just the air conditioner running. If not, uh, you didn't hear anything. Ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. That's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. Ours was in the crew quarters. That's so... We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Locked, huh? Yeah, won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours, six minutes. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Huh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe in the lounge. Here are a few more rules from you. Um, I'm pretty sure we saw this in the last one. So I won't uh, read through this one.
That's true. But we can all go back the way we came and get back, get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <sighs> Asshole. Oh my god, and he's calling somebody one. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out. It's some of your favorite scotch. Oh, -ho. Uh, tempting. I don't really think now's the time. Whoa. Hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the Nonary game, and if Quark was calling Tim Yoji Grandpa, maybe they were even related. Alice and Clover seemed to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? But... Are, are you sure? Do you have enough money? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. Ah, forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? We go into the AB rooms, right? Look. We've got some keys for them right here. Can and Quark have two each, so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> Anybody can go into any room. 
But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. do after we go into the room play a game just like it says on the door you play the ambidex game wait what's ambidex supposed to mean anyway i would guess it's short for ambidextrous most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands instead of favoring the left or right but it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. It's a game of betrayal, then. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. You could be that way. Then what's the nonary game? Ah, oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Makes sense. Like hell. This shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think? Uh, arrogant little bastard. <laughs> well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that. Okay, Quark and myself gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Temioji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who'd go into which door. And Fi and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. Looks like everyone else has gone in already. Think we should head in too? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? This game's got a time limit too? What? 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 What the hell? Who is this? Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. Y yeah, right. Hey, guys, guys, get over here. We found someone. There's a, a lady over here. She's unconscious. I didn't wait for a response. Just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we could manage. All that greeted us was... Blood. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement. Just cold skin. What the hell were you yelling at? What's going on here? Is she... Quark, don't look. Somebody get Quark out of here. Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then... She's... Yeah. She's not breathing, and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. A while ago. Hey, I almost mixed that as one word, huh? Murdered? Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. 
part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go. Dio, Kay, and I gingerly lift the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself as one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But for whatever reason, Tim Yoji only stared. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point, but it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring towards us, a smoldering spark of something burning silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Tim Yoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breath heavy and labored and his movements slow, shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her almost felt like carrying an old dry piece of wood. Well, man, that ain't right. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed, as if we were afraid she might break. She looks so peaceful. Almost like she's just going to wake up any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. No? You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. So you think you can use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex, female. Estimated age, 65 to 75 years. Diagnosis, deceased. Cause of death? Oh, uh, uh, I mean, I'm going to butcher this. Exsanguination. Exsanguination. I don't even know what that is. Pretty sure it's fancy. I don't even know if that's a real word. I've never seen it before. Anyway, estimated time of death three to four hours. Damage trajectory weapon entered through the fourth intercoastal piercing heart. Wound characteristics margin, clean, continuous, angles one sharp, one blunt. Wound cavity 150 millimeters. Wound length 30 millimeters. Wound width 3 millimeters. In the conclusion, based on the characteristics described above, there is a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. Huh. Yeah, 
I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with the clarinet or something? Oh, Sigma, you got jokes. It means a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms, specifically the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Alright, Dio, you jumped to conclusions way too fast, my boy. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. Clover, don't act like you ain't been through this before. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly, but now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero, or rather Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her. Justice planned. Death is only another part of the game. Killing someone is just part of a game to him? Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Whoa, what was that? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. And that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see, just as I said, Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. 
If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. We're really going in there? I kinda don't want to. I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago. Huh? Wait. Phi? Where'd you go? Up here. Up. Whoa. What the hell is she doing? You must be really desperate to get high. Seriously? That's the best you can do? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. Whatever. Whatever you're up... Uh, what are you up to up here anyway? Everybody's already gone into the AB rooms. Yeah, well... There was something I wanted to check out. This thing. Remember it? Okay, no, don't go on auto. The hatch? Try opening it. No luck. It won't budge. Hmm. Then that means this AV room is locked down tight. No one could get in. You're talking about whoever killed that old lady, aren't you? Yeah. You still think it's Kay, huh? Well, like Clover said, if Zero Senior is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch or not. I know. I just wanted to be sure. Five minutes remain until Ambidex Game Polling closes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. Uh, he's a rabbit. Look, there's something on the screen. Yeah, you're right. Of course, the ambidex game will begin. We will enter our votes by pressing start. Well, looks like there's no going back now. Astute observation. So have we. We've got some questions for you, Zero. Who is that old one? Wolf! Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? All? The other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are, Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but B.O. is especially loud. For real, B.O., I need you to shut up. There isn't much time. I better hurry and explain all this stuff, or the game will end before I'm done. So, no more questions from now on. No answers for anybody, okay? You just have to wait. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the A.B. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opponent. But it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a mono or mono a womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two on one battle, I guess. <laughs> Who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Mooney and went through the magenta door, didn't they? 
that means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Moomy. And it goes the other way, too. Moomy's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Alas. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Tenmi Oldie. Oh, I just got it. When he said potassium and cleaver, K, that's that's the the symbol on the periodic K, whatever. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Maybe B will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated. And some of you are a little slow. So, I made this empty chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get 2 BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP and they get three. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me, I'd skin them and stew them with some tires. Mm hmm. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets 3 BP, and they're the one who loses 2. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice, and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose Betray, and so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. Uh, boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. As the Game Master here, this is the situation. I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pears, aren't you? Well, let me explain. <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Ooh, Gaden. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, there's a little bit more, but... It'll just have to wait, I guess. After all... Hey, wait. No, I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time. One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later. Have a nice trouble. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose Betray. 
What? You, you're kidding. You really want me to betray Luna? We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. That's a loss of two points. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? Uh, 21. What kind of idiot do you think I am? It's one, obviously. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. So? Wait. What do you mean by it's over? 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Just press the damn button! You're hiding something. Yeah, you've been suspicious from the get-go. I mean, how'd you know my name? Or how about when we found that old lady's body? You didn't even blink. Almost like you knew she would be here. Look, I don't want to believe it, but did you? Are you? Fine. If you won't do it, then I... Don't think so. I'm not gonna move until you give me some answers. If I don't do anything, it'll just vote ally for us anyway. So let's hear it. What are you hiding? What's it's over supposed to mean? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. When your BP hit zero, you die. That's what I meant. One. And I know what we're going with, folks. And you're about to see it. I know what ending I want to go for. So we're going to have to betray Luna. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. <laughs>